All right, what's going on, buddy? So Dan from Stockability, I want to make a short video this week, talk about two ideas that I'm watching heading into the month of October. Uh, obviously, we're heading into an election uh, year. It's going to be, should be a lot of fireworks, a lot of volatility, a lot of very interesting things in the markets happening. I'll talk about them briefly, but let me start with two ideas that I'm watching into uh, basically the month of October uh, into the election. So uh, a few of the things that I'm watching, number one is a company called VSTO. Um, I started a position in this about a week and a half ago. I got stopped out on it. Um, and then I'm looking to re-enter on this. So uh, essentially this is kind of an outdoors play uh, with relation to some other names I'll discuss here in a second. Uh, but I'm looking for to see if this thing can get a trigger or a signal for me uh, to buy this this particular name above 21, 2160. So if we can kind of see that happen, uh, I'm probably going to be long shares on this uh, as well as potentially coming in and selling puts on this. So uh, I know it's a different strategy for those of you that have followed. Um, I was going to go directional deep in the money call options, but I'll probably end up selling puts uh, because I don't mind owning the stock uh, against 14. So, I mean, it, it, whether I have to hold it for a while, I'd like to see this basically trigger above 21, 20, 50s uh, into the month of October. So this is something that I'm watching. Again, non-correlated to, to the NASDAQ and some other names, uh, but something that, that I'm kind of watching. Uh, heading into the, the month. So uh, second thing is a short idea. So uh, it's Zoom. So hopefully I don't get too much flack for this. Uh, obviously the stock has been on a tear uh, with COVID. You've had a lot of you know people working from home. I mean, most people working from home. Um, it's been, I guess, something similar for me and Sam. We've always kind of done a lot of webinars, uh, but this thing has just been on an absolute tear. So uh, whenever I see something like this, and I was explaining it in, in something we call guided trade sessions, the GTS. So uh, I did a guided trade sessions today and I was discussing this as, as potential uh, and I want to just share this idea here. So this stock kind of moved too far too fast. When you see these scenarios um, kind of play out again, I want to be a buyer on pullbacks on certain equities. When I see something like that, it really gets me excited as a trader uh, because it has potential for this thing to maybe sell off a little bit. So what I'm looking for is again, I don't have a short position just stated on this yet. Uh, maybe uh, and move into 450s, 440s on this is what I'm kind of looking for. So what kind of gave me the clue aside from that larger time frame I just showed you? Uh, well, let me kind of dive into that and show you here. So Zoom opened up with the rest of the market. It gapped higher today. Uh, what I did not love to see uh, was this reversal. So you basically reverse off of the highs back into these lows. Again, this was not a very uh, friendly reversal. This was pretty heavy, uh, about 30 points on the day on this. So to see what we call outside day reversal, I know this is terms used as well as called uh, uh, red to green or green to red reversal. Uh, this is not a positive sign. So, you know, I am watching this. It's going to be a potential move uh, into tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever day it may may, I may get the trigger to short this. Uh, this is definitely on my radar heading into October. So that's another idea. Uh, so that's one of the one of the two ideas there that I'm talking about or looking at as well. Uh, one of the in, in, other interesting things that I want to just discuss briefly uh, with these markets is really the lack of movement on bonds. So last week the markets uh, sold off. Uh, Twenty year Treasury has been uh, essentially asleep. Uh, so is the VIX. So a lot of strange things happening uh, on the underlying side of the markets. Uh, one of the, the themes that I'm playing with heading into uh, October uh, is really staying away from buying equities. Uh, that are correlated to the, the you know the Nasdaq S&P. So the VSTO idea uh, is something more on a fundamental driven play. It's on a momentum based stock. Um, I'm long some natural gas through exchange traded fund, uh, but I'm really trying to stay away from risk assets. So risk assets being equity since the month of October, just because of election risk and, and, and seeing the bonds not move last week when we sold off uh, does kind of bother me as well. So those are two ideas I'm watching into October. Uh, let me give you guys some insights. If you're new to the YouTube channel, thanks for subscribing, number one. Uh, number two, uh, if you have not done so already, Sam uh, and Susie, who are great, they lead our, our uh, free learning sessions. You can come in and start uh, here. So this will give you access uh, to attend one of Susie's webinars. Uh, you'll learn a little bit more about what we do, how we're different, uh, our community, et cetera. You'll be able to go in there as well. Uh, if you don't have time for that, or maybe you have time for both, I'd highly suggest taking a look at trading versus investing. There's seven videos here. Uh, Sam Evans, my partner, did an amazing job at creating these videos. Uh, go through them. If you've never traded or if you're new to this, I promise you, uh, there's a ton of value in that as well. So that's kind of where I want to point you on this. If you're new to the YouTube channel, uh, again, thank you for subscribing. We'll have some more content out uh, as we start to, to build and grow. Uh, so make sure to hit the subscribe and like button, and I'll see you in the next video.